ये मेरा हथौड़ा है एम्पनादा 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 एंड आई थिंक वी हैव अ विनर nice 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 so we going to be making empanadas now empanadas comes from the word empanar which means breaded or covered with bread or a pastry and if you notice in every culture we have this like we have the samosas the arabics have the meat pie the jamaicans have the meat patties the french have their puff pastries so there in every culture there is something like that and this actually is goes back to the 15th or 16th century and actually the spanish took it across to the latin americas okay so now for the empanadas we're going to be making a lamb empanada today so this is almost like a recipe from argentina and i just completely love it you can go as crazy as you want as the fillings even veget even the vegetarian ones are amazing so let's make the dough first so i've got about here almost 3 cups of flour in here okay and into which we have to have about 150 to 170 grams of soft chilled butter okay now because this is a nice lovely flaky buttery pastry it does require a good amount of butter okay so we going to be as they do with a shot you can use a machine if you like or you can simply what you need to do is just break the butter you got to make sure that the butter is cool okay you can't have really warm butter otherwise it's going to melt and it's not good for the pastry so i'm going to be just rolling this putting it together and making sure that this the the butter is evenly distributed among the flour and this mixture will soon start looking like bread crumbs similar to the short crust pastry or the pie dough as we call it it's very similar to that distributed or rubbed in as we call it just like that okay you must try to have a kind of a cooler environment can't do it in a really hot hot kitchen okay thoda sa you have to be a little careful so here i've got vinegar which i'm using in here and we have some salt in this as well already and now next i'm going to be adding my water to this so i've got about almost like a 1 cup 100 ml to 120 ml of water here and we just going to put it a little by little So I'm dividing these into two balls, okay? Because I want to roll them separately and just kind of bring it together, okay? Now let's do the filling. Now the for the filling, as I said, you can go as imaginative as you want. Uh, I like this lamb filling, okay? I always do it with either with lamb or with chicken. I also use broccoli. I use different vegetables. Sometimes I just use a lot of cheese and vegetables. Okay, if you want to looking for a nice vegetarian recipe, this is it, guys. This Believe me, just like I have said, it's almost like the samosa of Latin America and Spain. So we're going to be adding some olive oil in this, and to this, some chopped onions here. So along with the chopped onions, we have a little bit of finely chopped or minced garlic so to it's about half a medium onion 1 tablespoon of chopped garlic about 2 tablespoons of olive oil some people like to use butter okay so we've got this lovely thing going in here onions are almost done next it's time to add our lovely lamb mince or goat mince amazing now you need to keep your temperature your flame pretty high on this okay because you want that nice searing and bunaing of the lamb happening here okay you want to give it a really nice color as well before you add in your your other things like your tomato paste and all that 
So I'm going to be giving this a nice mix. I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt here, a little bit of pepper. Beautiful. So the idea is that you want to see a really nice caramelization in your meat. Next we're going to be adding a teaspoon of some jeera or cumin powder, okay? And we're going to be adding a little bit of red chili powder as well, okay? Uh, there are various versions where people like to make it very spicy. You can add some fresh chilies as well. Bahut hi maza hai isme. Nice. Beautiful. We're going to be adding a little bit of water. Make sure that nothing is sticking to your pans here. You've got a really nice caramelization going on here. Beautiful. Next, a little bit of our tomato puree. Beautiful. At this time, I want to put in my lovely bell peppers in here. Beautiful, you got a really nice, delicious filling. I also have some raisins here, okay? Which you're gonna be adding in here. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit of water. Lovely. Nice. So we have our empanada filling, almost done. I'm just going to wait for it to come down a little bit. The lamb will also be perfectly cooked. And in the meanwhile, I have some green olives, which I am going to be just slicing very roughly. You can leave them chopped, you can leave them whole, just the way you like it. I just like to slice them. You can get sliced olives as well. You don't really need to use those really expensive artisan olives because it's not really all about the olives. It's about the empanada itself, okay? My filling is almost done, beautiful. Now I just need to cool it down. And in the meantime, time management takes over. Let's start rolling our pastry now. Are you ready? We have a nice dough here, a nice big ball. It's nice and cool. Just put this together one more time before we start rolling it so that we make sure we have it together. Beautiful. So now slowly but evenly turn the pastry around as you roll it. Okay. Beautiful. And then using a cutter, we're going to be cutting out four to five medium sized lovely empanadas. So empanadas can be fried as well as baked, but most of the time I like to bake my empanadas, okay? Not too thin, not too thick. Because remember, we have to be turning these over. We got to be folding them. So we're almost getting there. All the trimmings can be brought back together again and rolled one more time. Empanada number one. Empanada numero dos. Perfecto. So we're going to do a little beaten egg. Uh, we're going to line the pastry inside with a little bit of egg before we put the filling and once when we fold it, knock it back with a fork, brush, 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 boom, in the oven. We have these grated eggs as well, which is going to be a part of the filling, okay? So, lovely, nice. Nice, 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 nice. 
So, a little bit of egg wash. We mix this in now. This lovely filling. So you can see this filling, it's got a lot of character. Okay, it's come together really well. Okay, perfect. So, egg wash. This also helps to stick the pastry together. Okay, next. Filling in the middle. Next, we bring these together. Just like this. Press the edges together. Nice. So this is here, we have a lovely empanada. And the final thing with this is, These are going to be buttery, flaky, and delicious. So I have an oven which is preheating at about 180. We're going to be cooking this till they get golden brown. Very simple. You'll know exactly when to open the oven. And about, I would say about 15 to 16 minutes. But until then, let's do a guacamole. So, like samosas, patties, puffs, they always served with some kind of sauce. Now, normally in Latin America, they do sour cream, they do like a cheese sauce, they do salsa. And you know what sometimes they do? They serve a guacamole. How about let's guacamole? Now, we have some lovely ripe avocado, chopped chilies, a half a medium sized onion, a big tablespoon of chopped coriander, one medium tomato, one medium tomato and some lemon juice, a little bit of salt and pepper. Lovely. Then we have a little bit of pepper. Ye mera hatoda hai. Okay, this was, I was very famous chef once upon a time, but everybody used to call this a hatoda. I said, I used to say the hatoda is actually my wife, not the pepper mill. Okay, and now we have some Lemon juice, which we are putting over here. Lovely, beautiful, cold pressed extra virgin olive oil in the building. And avocados, as we know, good fat, really good for health. And literally, 150 grams of avocado is like perfect for almost like a meal. It's a great protein, it's a good fat, and definitely one of the most trendiest thing which is happening. Now, literally, I have made an avocado, a guacamole, which if I, I don't want to really mash it, I just want to crush it just like that, okay? So this is almost like, you can even call this an avocado kachumbar if you like. You know what I mean? So next, we're gonna be serving this lovely, the avocado kachumbar or the guac. A guac is got, is more puree. This is more like a chunky guacamole, which I love. Mmm, yummy. Really, really good. Now let's check out our empanadas. Empanadas inside. And then we do the plaything for you. And I think we have a winner. Wow, Argentina, welcome to Argentina, my friend. So we have 
fantastic empanadas here, straight from the oven, really hot. We have a guacamole here happening on the side. And then along with this beautifully crunchy Take this out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Los Fantasticos Empanadas is ready. Okay, hope you enjoyed this recipe. And remember to make it, share it, like it, and don't forget to subscribe. Empanada, empanada, empanada.